this is what we're going to make today. It's a fly cutter. It holds a 5 16 uh, tool bit. And I needed one to uh, do another project that I'm working on. I've got a fly cutter, but it's bigger than this one. So um, I decided to make this one out of a piece of just scrap steel. All right, let's get started. Well, this is what we're going to start with. And I'm actually, I'm going to cut this part off. And we're going to make the fly cutter out of this part right here. And this is, I don't know what this thing's from. I cut it off the end of a, <coughs> um, I don't know, something came from a scrapyard. All right, we're going to get this chucked in. And what I'm going to do is just, I'm chucking the small in. I'm going to get this kind of roughed in, and then I'm going to flip it around and get this end uh, done to a final dimension, then flip it back around and put it in a collet, because I want to make sure that this end is uh, true to the arbor that's going to go up in the mill. All right, I'm happy with that finish <clears throat> and now I've got to cut off about this much of this thing and I don't want to do it on the lathe with a parting tool because that never seems to go well for me. So actually I should have done this before I polished it up but <clears throat> I'm going to go over to the bandsaw and I'm going to cut this off. I'll just protect it so I don't mess it up and then I'll come back and face it off to the right length. I've got our piece set up in uh, the vise, and I just took a 20 degree block and offset it 20 degrees to cut our top. We'll skim the top to get our reference, and then we got to go down 3 eighths of an inch and flatten it off. Okay, so that was slightly tragic. Um, I think what the problem is, is I don't have a spanner for this back here. I'm going to have to make one, so I didn't get it probably tight enough. So I'm going to just take this and put it in a V-block and start over. Okay, so now I'm set back up. Hopefully I'm tighter, and we'll see what we can accomplish here.
This is a three sixteenths cutter, and I'm cutting a, a I'm cutting a quarter inch uh, slot for a quarter inch cutter. It'll actually be you know probably two fifty four or something like that, so it'll slide in there easily or two fifty two. Okay, so I have trimmed the back side is is uh, right on zero, so, and now I'm going to move over to start trimming this edge to open this pocket up. Okay, I've got us zeroed in here, and I'm coming up 5, uh, 30 seconds, and I'm going to put in my uh, 14 by 38 uh, Allen screws. Uh, there's one on center, and then a half inch this way, and a half inch this way. So I'm going to drill these out for the tap size for 1420. Okay, you saw me go back and forth several times. The deal was, I was going to just spot drill them, and then I thought, you know, I want a chamfer so that my I'll have a little chamfer around the hole, so hopefully uh, I got deep enough to do that, and I was trying to even them up. Okay, here we are with a number, number seven drill bit. Well, here it is finished. It's got still got the little marks along here where it wasn't held real well, but uh, I could chuck it back up and cut those off of there, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it. It's probably going to get beat up anyway. I plan to use it. I made it for a project that I, I want to start working on. Um, and I don't have any 5 16 uh, tool bits to put in here. I've got to order some. I made it for a quarter because that's what I have, but I was following a plan that I found online and um, so I just I cut it three eighths deep and then a quarter wide, but the problem is then it was too deep. So when you put this put the quarter inch bit in there and then looked at the angle, it wasn't ever gonna unless you stuck it way out here like this, it wasn't gonna clear the bottom of it. So anyway, I just went ahead, chucked it back in, put it back in the vise, and milled it uh, to the right size. And I'll just order some uh, tool bits and it'll be fine. It's always fun to be able to take just a piece of, you know, scrap steel that's pretty worthless and turn it into something that, that looks this nice and uh, is actually useful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, project. Thank you for watching.